Last year, a tragedy struck the mentor community when 16-year-old football player Brandon Shima passed away from what the coroner concluded were natural causes. The community came together and supported me and, and the whole family and you know, just let them know that they were there and you know they were sharing and you know the whole pain and, and everything of it with us. Everyone loved him. We looked up to him and he's just a great example of what you should strive to be in life as a person. But Shima left a legacy with the community and his former teammates. The memorials they leave on the lawn and sign and um, the whole hearts for Brandon, you know, doing the things on their own in the stands. The team recently held a pep rally to ignite Mentor's playoff run. Its theme, go to state for 38, the number Brandon wore on the field. Brandon's friends and family remember Brandon in different ways each day, like this sign in the front yard where friends or fans can stop by and leave a message. But Brandon's legacy took care of itself in a different way, with the final scores from the 2011 season. Scored 38 a lot this year. It's, it's been amazing and it's got a great tribute to him. Week two, Mentor defeats Division Five champions Youngstown Ursuline 38 to 27. One week later, St. Ignatius falls to the Cardinals 38 to 24. Week four, a little different. Mentor beats Mayfield 52 to 14. I'll let you do the math. Brunswick doesn't stand a chance and Mentor dominates 38 14. Medina loses to the Cardinals 45 to seven. The difference, 38. Week nine, Mentor sends Strongsville home with a 38 to seven win. Now just seven days later, Cardinals sneak by Twinsburg, 38 to 35. The Shima legacy lives on. If anybody knew Brandon, they knew he was big into numbers, loved math, he was just fantastic at math and computer. So if you had to probably pick a way to do it, yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I definitely feel like he's still looking over us. I feel like every time we step out on that field, uh, Brandon Shima is still with us. It doesn't stop on the field. Brandon's father, Keith, started the Brandon Shima Anti-Bullying Foundation to empower students to prevent bullying. Although Brandon wasn't bullied, he liked to help those who were. Yeah, after, you know, a couple days in, in bed and, and uh, really at my lowest point and, and after talking some things through with, you know, a uh, priest from the church and uh, it, it was almost like Brandon just handed the idea to me. It wasn't a thought that I ever had for a second. In Mentor, Allie LaForce, Fox 8 News.